people have been able to come together and just celebrate Daniel's life. They're working out to help a cause he worked hard for. How these dancers are honoring fallen Richmond police officer Daniel Ellis. State police spent hours on the scene of a deadly crash in Bourbon County. We have the latest on the investigation. One of a kind shoes autographed by former UK basketball player Willie Colley Stein are up for auction. And it's all for a good cause. We'll tell you the details coming up. This is WKYT News at 11. A beautiful end to the weekend. Thanks for staying up with WKYT. I'm Kristen Kennedy. We had some very warm temperatures and beautiful sunny skies. We begin with WKYT's Mike Linden and the no wait weather forecast. I mean, Kristen, you you just said what's up. Why why even have me? It's beautiful and it's going to stay that way as we work our way into the start of the work week. So I guess I do have some new information to tell you. Currently, temperatures in the mid 60s. Most spots are cooling down pretty quickly here. Laurel County, though, Lexington, Madison County, 64 degrees. Round County still at 72, so still pretty pleasant, even past 11 o'clock this evening. We look at the Defender Radar Network. Nothing out there. There's just not anything going on. The cloud cover is not here. It's to our west, that stationary front that has slowly begun to work its way eastward. Well, it's not here just yet. The cloud cover is still hanging over the Missouri St. Louis area, but you can see the active weather is to the west of that front. But right now, with that front off to our west and high pressure built up over the east, we are just locked into a great pattern that is capable of producing temperatures as you saw today. Temperature is getting back into the mid to low 80s. Coming up, though, I'll have in my full forecast, we'll break down this awesome start to the work week. But there are some changes coming. I hate to burst the bubble, but there are some changes coming. I'll show you what those changes are and when they arrive. Coming up. Zumba instructors in Madison County found a way today to help a fallen officer's family. Madison Central High School leaders hosted a Zumba thon with all proceeds going to the Daniel Ellis Foundation. Officer Ellis died in the line of duty last year. WKYT's Hillary Thornton talked to Officer Ellis's widow in our top story at 11. Inside of Madison Central High School, each step and every turn making a difference in memory of fallen Richmond police officer Daniel Ellis. Alexis, you know, approached and said, everybody's on board, we're going to do a Zumbathon. I said, you know, I'm not very athletic. <laughs> 5K Zumbathon, but it's been great, and just people have been able to come together and just celebrate Daniel's life, raise money to give back to Madison County, and have a really good time. The Sunday Zumbathon, just the most recent example of a community coming together to remember badge number 457, all while supporting the foundation started by his widow, dedicated to helping others in his memory. Another example of the community coming together, doing something to. Uh, um, to be a blessing to Katie and to her foundation. And her foundation is already doing great things. And this event special in itself, but even more so with it happening at a place that continues to rally around the wife of the fallen officer. My work family has been amazing. Um, work is the one place that feels really normal, that I enjoy coming, and um, I wouldn't trade any of them. They're the best. A place of normalcy for the proud officer's wife, a place stepping up for their assistant principal. Katie um, is very dear to our heart. Madison Central faculty and staff taking an activity many of them do regularly, using it to help out one of their own. You, you know, work um, together closely like we do, you become a family. A couple hours of exercise serving as another example of this community's heart. Richmond's awesome. Richmond is a wonderful place. I'm originally from Columbus, Ohio, but I will be from Richmond, Kentucky forever. In Madison County, Hillary Thornton, WKYT. Organizers say the Zumbathon brought in more than $500 for the foundation. A Bourbon County road has just reopened hours after a deadly crash. State police say an SUV on Lexington Road in Paris this afternoon hit a bicyclist. The crash happened near Evergreen Memory Gardens. The bicyclist died at the scene. Troopers have not released the victim's name at this time. A crash reconstruction unit was out there. State police have not yet said if they are filing charges against the driver of the SUV. 
It has been one year since a UK student was shot and killed, and the UK community continues to mourn the loss of Jonathan Kruger. To honor his memory, the UK School of Journalism is planning a memorial tomorrow for the 22 year old. Kruger was a photographer for the Kentucky Colonel. Last month, the judge set a trial date for the three men charged with Kruger's death. Efren Diaz, Justin Smith, and Roman Gonzalez are charged with murder. The trial for all three starts March 6, 2017. A Southern Kentucky inmate who's been on the run since last month is now back behind bars. The Knox County Sheriff's Office says deputies found 24 year old Ronald Gray in a wooded area in the Boone Height community. Deputies say Gray and another inmate jumped out of a transport van March 28th while going from the Knox County Jail to the Leslie County Jail. They caught the other inmate. Two deputies were fired after the incident. New tonight, state police have identified the woman killed in a fire in eastern Kentucky. The coroner says 50 year old Kathy Raina Marshall Kirkland died in a fire at an apartment on Highway 777. The cause of the fire and cause of death are still under investigation. State police are waiting on autopsy results. There were some tense moments at a Lexington factory this evening. Firefighters say one of the vats at the Dixie Cup factory on Harbison Road caught fire. They were able to put out the flames pretty quickly. Crews stayed on the scene for a couple hours to ventilate the building and cool down the machine. Dozens of firefighters in eastern Kentucky have been battling forest fires this weekend. Crews are blaming the dry weather for the spike in fires. Firefighters are asking people to wait to burn anything until after 6 at night or until we get more rain. They also suggest keeping a water hose nearby if burning anything. And then if the wind's really blowing, then you should probably maybe hold off a day or so till it starts raining some uh, because it didn't take but a second for it to hit the hills and, and be a, a big full blown hill forest fire with thousands of acres involved. Firefighters say you should only burn natural products, no tires, aerosols, or paint cans. They were custom made for former UK basketball player Willie Cauley Stein. Now they're being auctioned off for a good cause. A Lexington man who designs shoes designed a pair for Cauley Stein, painted in memory of a nine year old fan who died from brain cancer. Cauley Stein befriended Blake Hunley and spent time with him when he was at UK. New at 11, WKYT's Caitlin Center tells us what the money from the shoes will be used for. Most people know the story about uh, Willie and little Blake Hunley that passed away last year. The Big Blue Nation watched as a special bond formed between Willie Cauley Stein and nine year old fan Blake Hundley. Hundley was diagnosed with brain cancer when he was just six years old. Just meeting the kid, you would never know that he had brain cancer. You know, I mean, you had no, had no idea. The former UK star didn't forget his little buddy after Hundley lost his battle with cancer last May. You know, Willie sent me the shoes. He's like, hey, let's do a Team Blake, you know, something kind of theme like that. And he's going to wear them in a the game. The local shoe artist showed off the autographed kicks at an event Sunday afternoon, but the bidding is actually happening online. Billy Hobbs put the one of a kind autographed shoes worn by Collie Stein in a game against the Minnesota Timberwolves on eBay to raise money for the Cozare Children's Hospital, where Hunley received his treatment. In my mind at the beginning, I thought 2000 was like the ceiling. I was like, that would be great if we could raise that much money for it. The bidding reached two grand within hours. The UK standout not forgetting the BBN or his biggest fan. He genuinely cares about, like, him and, him and uh, Blake were really close, you know, and that's a lot of people don't know that. They just think that these guys go out and do photo ops, but he, you know, him and little Blake texted each other back and forth during the Final Four. Hub says he and Collie Stein hope to do this fundraiser annually. In Lexington, Caitlin Setner, WKYT. We have a link to the auction on our website. UK students, staff, and alumni were running for a reason today. The University of Kentucky Alumni Association hosted the first ever Sprint for Scholarships 5K at Coldstream Park. The money raised today goes directly to student scholarships. Organizers say the 5K will help future and current students pay for a college education. We realized there was a definite need for an increase of funds for scholarships, so we decided to try to do our part in that. So this is our first annual event to try to engage the community and be together with the alumni community in general and raise money.
Organizers expect the 5K to become an annual event. Dozens of kids played ball today for a chance to go to the MLB All-Star Game. The South Lexington Youth Baseball League hosted the city's inaugural MLB Pitch, Hit, and Run competition. The kids said today was all about having fun. WKYT photojournalist Tyler Ross has the story. Three swings, all you get, guys. I've actually dreamed about that, playing on the big field, you know. It's just all of the environment. As far as we know, it's the first time any local league here in Lexington has put this on. It's uh, the MLB pitch, hit, and run event. They had us running, who could run, and hit, and pitch. I usually like hitting off pitchers because I um, haven't hit off a tee since tee ball, so it was a little different. Um, they're hitting three um, baseballs off a tee, uh, and then we measure their farthest one, and it's accuracy and distance, so they have to hit it straight and far. Um, and then they throw six pitches to a strike zone, and however many hit out of six, that gives them a score. Um, and then they'll run from second to home, and we'll time that, and then that puts them at a level. Uh, they would get a set, certain amount of points for that as well. I take a deep breath and everything, and I just imagine myself in my happy place and I just, you know, swing. The high school swing there, dude. Nice. It's a lot more funner because you know you have your friend, even more friends around you and stuff, and you got, and it's not as much pressure on you. I came here like I, I'm probably not going to win or anything, and I got a really high score and I'm really impressed with myself. And, uh, everyone else did really good too. This is just having fun, and, and some kids going to get to travel a little bit and play some more. Winners from each age group division will advance to the sectional championship. From there, they will go to the team championship and then the national finals. The finals will be at this year's All-Star Game in July. Coming up on WKYT, polls reveal the newest numbers coming out of New York, where some candidates are hoping to win big in their home state. And this is not a joke. Comedy fans are getting their money back after a last-minute cancellation at the KFC Young Center. The world doesn't slow down for anyone. Neither do we. The bold 2016 Toyota Camry. Aggressively styled with available 18-inch wheels, dual exhausts, and the most advanced features right at your fingertips, including blind spot monitoring and wireless charging. Now get a new 2016 Camry with 0.9% financing for 72 months or lease this Camry now for only $189 a month. Toyota, let's go places. Being there, day in, day out. That's loyalty. And it's worth something. Like savings on AAA auto insurance, just for being loyal. We started with the class leading RX. We gave it paddle shifters to help you command the road. A sport mode to help you control the road. And a sport tuned suspension to help you connect with the road. The Lexus RX F-Sport. This is the RX Elevated. Lease the 2016 RX 350 for 419 a month for 36 months. See your Lexus dealer. I would say to you, if your doctor orders an MRI or a CAT scan, that you immediately think about, where do I have to have it done? And the answer is always going to be, you can have it done wherever you want to, no matter what your doctor says. You've got a right to go out and uh, compare prices, compare quality, uh, get references. Uh, come out and see us. We'll be happy to show you around uh, at Lexington Diagnostic Center and open MRI. With a heavy duty welded steel deck and exclusive smooth track steering, the Hustler Raptor Zero Turn Mower doesn't play around. It's got the power to turn your weekend to do list into your weekend to done list. The legendary Hustler Raptor family starting at just $27.99. Tools, not toys. Get your Hustler mower at Huss Equipment in Nicholasville and Southern States Co-op of London. Are you looking for a new career in the automotive industry? Hitachi is currently recruiting top engineering talent for Berea and Harrodsburg locations. Visit our job fair at the Griffin Gate Marriott on April 19th from 3 p.m. to 7 p.m. Hitachi, leading the way in creating innovative automotive solutions. Get WKYT news and weather updates on 98.1 The Bull. Now, your hour-by-hour -hour forecast with Mike Linden. Well, only about 45 minutes left of what has truly been 
one of the most perfect weekends in recent memory, weather-wise at least, that is. Right now, we are looking toward downtown Lexington. The skies are clear. There's no cloud cover out there. It has been a beautiful evening. We even saw the International Space Station pass overhead about an hour ago. Things are, again, this weekend, there's something about it. It is just wonderful. Temperature-wise, right now, 64 degrees. The winds are nice and calm. It's been beautiful. We have been locked into this awesome pattern all weekend long. It looks like that will continue to be the case into the work week. Looking at the Defender Radar Network right now, there's just nothing out there. No cloud cover. We're just not going to find very much of anything. But if we zoom out, that's where we start to see most of the action. Off to our west, a stationary front. Well, it is living up to its name and, and staying pretty much in one place. It is moving eastward very slowly, and high pressure built up over the eastern seaboard is keeping us sunny and dry. So this high pressure ridge as well as this front are working together to keep the cloud cover away from us and to allow for that warm air to work its way right, right, right back into the bluegrass. You can see on this map the temperatures at the surface and the winds essentially different from one side of the United States to the other. You can really see how that cold air has dug in from Canada. And if you look, this transition zone right in the middle, well, that's where that front is, splitting the U.S. between the cool and the warm air, the warm air, which, of course, is over our neck of the woods, producing these wonderful temperatures. And as far as your pattern, well, we're just not really going to see very much of it changing. Of course, that name, Stationary Front, should tell you that it's going to move very, very slowly, if at all. And that's going to keep temperatures pretty much locked in above normal. And in tomorrow, we might even see a few spots get back to the lower 80s, potentially even the mid 80s. We'll see a lot of sunshine. There certainly won't be any shortage of that. A little cool in the morning at 54. That's really not too bad, though. We get back into the afternoon, almost 30 degrees warmer than that. No cloud cover out there for you. Monday shaping up to be wonderful. Again, most spots getting back into the lower 80s. Tuesday as well, if you thought we were done, nope. Getting back to the upper 70s, low 80s yet again on Tuesday. It's Wednesday, though, where that front finally begins to dig into the bluegrass, bringing us a chance at some showers in the afternoon and into the evening hours. And then Thursday, Friday, enough instability thanks to that cold air that could trigger some thunderstorms. We're right back to normal by next weekend. And Kristen, by normal, I mean temperature wise, because that is normal for this time of year, the lower 70s. So we are certainly being treated to some beautiful temperatures. And the record high tomorrow, 88 degrees. I don't think we'll get there, but hey, it certainly has felt uh, abnormally warm, but I think people are loving it. Even next weekend looks okay for weather, too. That's the thing. I mean, it looks great. So these 80s are great, but we're still not even where we should be normally. I'll take it. Yeah. Thank you, Mike. But you do get some lovely vantage points out there. Still to come on WKYT, an artist is keeping busy at a beautiful Keeneland. Kentucky hospitals are intentionally getting unborn babies hooked on a narcotic. While that may sound bad, it's actually being seen as a success, considering the alternative. Babies and drug withdrawal, Monday at 6 on WKYT. When big news breaks, be the first to know. Download the WKYT News app and turn on push alerts. Breaking news at your fingertips when you need to know what's going on. Push alerts, now available on the WKYT News app. It's not about the distance you have to go. It's about the drive that gets you there. It's what makes us Kentucky strong, independent, and proud. Giving it your best 100% every day because that's what it takes. When it comes to getting things done, Nothing outperforms, outworks, or outshines Ford F-Series trucks from Paul Miller. 39 years and still the leader. Ford F-150 from Paul Miller. Big Blue Nation's destination. United we stand, Kentucky strong. Ford trucks and Paul Miller. At Frontier Nursing University, our mission is to educate nurse midwives and nurse practitioners through distance education. With 75 years in Kentucky, our students and graduates have a passion for personalized care for women and families. Do you share this passion? Visit Frontier.edu. 
Want to fill your garage with the best value brand in America that costs less than a competition? Honda's got it. During Honda's Dream Garage Sales Event, redesigned 2016 Civics, the number one selling compact car, just $179 a month. Or drive with zero down, zero security, and zero first month's payment. Civics with available Honda Lane Watch, Brake Assist, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, and more, just $179 a month or zero due at signing. Honda's got it at your Central Kentucky Honda dealers. I love Spain. This food, the wine, the tapas. I want to stay here forever. Well, we're not in Spain. We're home. I know, but this food is so delicious. And those authentic ingredients and easy recipes from the Kroger Taste of Spain event really put me in a Spanish state of mind. It's like a Spaincation. Head to Kroger for authentic recipes, specially imported foods, and delicious meal ideas at the Taste of Spain event. Great food, low prices at Kroger. Get your car looking brand new again at Jeff's Car Wash. Voted best in Lexington 20 years in a row. With plenty of options for any budget, Jeff's gives you the best car wash in town. Get wax and tire magic for just $12 with our exterior wash and go. Tuesday night's Mega Millions jackpot is $89 million. And Wednesday night's Powerball jackpot is $227 million. Democratic presidential candidates Hillary Clinton and Bernie Sanders are battling for votes in New York. And Republican Donald Trump is doubling down on his attacks. Brooke Silva Braga has the latest from Brooklyn, New York. We're going to win this thing without being dependent on Wall Street or the big money interests. Democratic presidential candidate Bernie Sanders may be trailing Hillary Clinton by 10 points in the New York primary. That's the gap in the latest CBS News battleground tracker poll, but the Vermont senator received rock star treatment at a massive Brooklyn rally. I think he's the people's president of today. The two candidates crisscrossed New York City's five boroughs Sunday. Hillary Clinton salsa danced at a block party in Washington Heights, then campaigned in Staten Island. I am sick and tired of people running for president who view our country through a negative lens. Tuesday's primary is considered crucial not only for the two Democratic candidates, but also for the Republican frontrunner. We have to win by big numbers because we have a system that's absolutely rigged. Polls show Donald Trump holding a commanding lead in New York over Ted Cruz and John Kasich. A big win on Tuesday would give him the bulk of delegates and put him on a narrow path to the 1237 he needs to clinch the Republican nomination. Brooke Silva Braga. For CBS News, New York. Five more eastern states, Connecticut, Delaware, Maryland, Pennsylvania, and Rhode Island hold contests April 26. If you want to vote in Kentucky's primary next month, you have until tomorrow to register. Monday is the deadline to register to vote in the May 17th primary. Kentuckians can now register and update registration online with GoVoteKY.com. County clerk's offices will accept online applications until 11.59 p.m. tomorrow, and they'll accept paper voter registration applications until the close of business. Mail-in voter registration applications must be postmarked by April 18th. If you haven't filed your tax return yet, you're in luck. The IRS gave everyone a few extra days to file this year. They pushed the deadline back to Monday because Friday was Emancipation Day. Wallet Hub says Americans spend, on average, 16 hours doing their taxes. Thousands of comedy fans in Louisville were pretty disappointed this weekend. People who went to see Cat Williams perform didn't get to. A Louisville TV station says the comedian was supposed to perform at the KFC Yum Center as part of his conspiracy theory tour. He unexpectedly canceled and didn't give a reason. Refunds are available to anyone who bought tickets. Thousands of people pack Keeneland every April and October, and for the better part of the past four decades, one man has been out there capturing the scene. Peter Williams has been painting portraits paddock side since 1980. He's Keeneland's unofficial artist in residence. Williams spent the first 50 years of his life herding sheep and cattle in New Zealand. He started painting on his farm and eventually came to the U.S. for an art exhibition. Now I was picked up by a gallery in New York who uh, commissioned me to paint racetracks. Williams says Keeneland is one of the most welcoming places he's worked. 
Lee K. Howard's in next with sports, where UK football fans got a glimpse of what's to come this fall. They did, Kristen. UK had its blue-white game on Saturday. Both the offense and the defense got to show off what they've been working on this spring. And Kentucky baseball, they needed a win in Nashville to avoid their first sweep of conference play. We'll have those highlights for you next in sports. This is Once, the Tony Award-winning musical about following your heart and your dreams. You cannot miss Once. For five performances, April 22nd through 24th at the Lexington Opera House. You've upgraded all your old technology. So what about this? It's time to get into the new with Ford. New lets you see around corners. New gives you a hand when yours are full. New can practically park itself. New is Ford, America's best-selling brand. Now get into an escape, edge, or explore with 0% financing for 60 months. Only at your local Ford store. The favorite thing that I like about shopping at Critchfield Meats is the, the quality and the selection of their meats. Anything that I'm looking for, they will have, and they, they've just been outstanding in every facet of the way they do business. I don't want to live with the uncertainties of Hep C. Or wonder whether I should seek treatment. I am ready. Because today, there's Harvoni, a revolutionary treatment for the most common type of chronic hepatitis C. Harvoni is proven to cure up to 99% of patients who've had no prior treatment. It's the one and only cure that's one pill once a day for 12 weeks. Certain patients can be cured with just eight weeks of Harvoni. With Harvoni, there's no interferon, and there are no complex regimens. Tell your doctor if you have other liver or kidney problems, HIV, or other medical conditions, and about all the medicines you take, including herbal supplements. Taking amiodarone with Harvoni may cause a serious slowing of your heart rate. Common side effects of Harvoni may include tiredness, headache, and weakness. I am ready to put Hep C behind me. I am ready to be cured. Are you ready? Ask your Hepsi specialist if Harvoni is right for you. At Frankfurt Toyota, we have new 2016 Camrys. Up to $3,900 off MSRP or 0% financing for 60 months. New 2016 Corollas and RAV4s. Up to $2,200 off MSRP or 0% financing for 60 months. And we'll double your no-cost maintenance to 4 years or 50,000 miles. Frankfurt Toyota, Google rated 4.9 out of 5 stars. Frankfurt Toyota, and online at frankfurttoyota.com. Lexington Overstock Warehouse is open this weekend for our spring cleaning warehouse sale. Get quality furniture and mattresses at incredibly low prices. Oversized sofa, $3.97. Serta Queen mattress and box, $2.88. Go to lexingtonoverstockwarehouse.com for more details. Get WKYT news and weather updates on News Radio 630 WLAP. Mark Stoops just wrapped up his fourth spring football at Kentucky and could have his best team headed into next season during Saturday's blue-white spring game. The Wildcats displayed many of their offensive weapons. The two teams combined for 56 rushing attempts and 46 passing attempts. Stoops says the key to better offense will be a combination of two things, skill and experience. I don't know. I don't know if I want to say I'm more confident in the offense that was installed, but I, I'm 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 more confident in our team as we should be as we move into year four. Like I said earlier, I think we have some players with some skill and some experience. That makes a big difference. In in um, you know, so I, I'm I'm more confident in our team. The defense had its bright spots on Saturday. No one had a better game, though, than linebacker Denzel Ware. 15 tackles, 10 of them solo, and four sacks. He's just a sophomore, but he's becoming a leader on that side of the ball. It did give me some confidence today. Um, you know, Coach 2 said, treat this like a game. And um, that's exactly what I did. I treated it like a game. I went out there and I played to my last, from my first rep to my last rep. Mark Elder just wrapped up his first spring in Richmond as the head coach at EKU. One of the biggest differences in Saturday's spring game was the tempo. Elder comes from Tennessee where he was an assistant, but this is his fifth coaching change that he's been a part of, and he likes the way that his players have bought in this spring. You have a whole new staff going in there and a whole new level of, 
expectations and a change in the standards and all those types of things. And and change is hard for anyone. It's ch it's hard for adults and for 18 to 22 year olds to have a whole new set of standards, a whole new expectation level. That's difficult on those guys. And they handled what we were asking them really well. Now to baseball, after winning four straight SEC series, the Kentucky baseball team was at risk of being swept for the first time in league play this afternoon at Vanderbilt. Wildcats needing a Sunday win to salvage the series. The theme of the weekend was great pitching, but here's some good defense. Scoreless in the fifth, Connor Kazier hits the chopper towards third. Javon Shelby snags it and gets it to Evan White on the stretch for the out. Well, the Wildcats would load the bases in the seventh. Troy Squires puts a bat on the ball, a double to right over the outstretched arm of the right fielder. That'll clear the bases to give Kentucky a 3 to nothing lead. That would be enough for the Cats to win the series finale. Just the third time Vandy has been shut out at home since 2012. Kentucky softball was at home today hosting the rubber match against Missouri. Coming off a tough loss on Saturday, the Wildcats looking to bounce back today. Down one to nothing in the second. Brooklyn Hines sees a pitch she likes. And that one is not coming back. A solo home run over the left field wall. Tie game at one apiece. Same score in the top of the fourth. Emily Crane takes Kelsey Nunley's pitch for a ride straight away center. Just carries over the wall. Missouri back on top two to one. The Wildcats would tie it up at two to two in the sixth. Here's Abby Cheek. What a weekend she had. Unties it for good off the scoreboard and left. Cheek's third home run of the week. And Kentucky takes the series with the 3 to 2 win over the Tigers. Rubber match between the Reds and the Cardinals. Top of the fourth man on first for Jay Bruce, who lines one off the glove of Michael Walker. Bruce gets credit for the infield single, but Walker actually throws the ball away, allowing Brandon Phillips to come in all the way around and score. Game tied at 2-2. Two to two. Next batter is Devin Mezzarocco. And with the shift on, he singles where the second baseman would normally play. That allows Bruce to score. Reds take the 3-2 to two lead in the fifth. Here's John Moscott. Deals to Matt Carpenter, who takes him deep to right center for the solo home run. Cardinals tied up at three to three. Same score in the eighth. Man on first, two outs for Eric Fryer, and he's going to drive the gap in left center. That would score the game-winning run. Cardinals take it four to three. And at the RBC Heritage Open at Hilton Head, Brandon Grace shot a five under 66 to overtake Luke Donald for his first PGA Tour title. The South African pulled three shots out in front of Donald after birdies on the 12th and 13th holes. Grace finished at nine under, two shots ahead of Donald and Russell Knox. Good to see someone like that win on the PGA Tour for a change. And we'll be right back with a final look at weather. Are you tired of juggling your finances and can't afford those remodeling projects? Surplus Sales has a huge selection of carpet at unbeatable prices. Come on down to Surplus Sales for some great deals. Listen up, it's Ford Truck Month. This is the time, this is the place. And this is Ford F-150, the truck that goes toe-to-toe -to -toe with your life. Made of high-strength military-grade aluminum alloy that pulled the highest safety rating the government can give. And with a 360-degree camera, it's like having your head on a swivel, pal. So load up your crew. This is the time. Now get an F-150 with 0% financing for 60 months or up to $6,550 in total savings. See your local Ford dealer. Think you might be pregnant? No judgment, no pressure, just help. AssuranceCare.org Welcome to Strength and Performance from Cub Cadet, the proven innovator of award-winning zero-turn riders. Welcome to a dealer in your community who offers superior service and expert advice. The only place to buy a Cub Cadet zero-turn with the ease of steering wheel control. Plus, 0% APR for 36 months with equal payments. Welcome to Strongsville. To find a locally owned Cub Cadet dealer near you, visit CubCadetDealers.com. I don't want to live with the uncertainties of Hep C. Or wonder whether I should seek treatment. I am ready. Because today, there's Harvoni, a revolutionary treatment for the most common type of chronic hepatitis C. Harvoni is proven to cure up to 99% of patients who've had no prior treatment. It's the one and only cure that's one pill once a day for 12 weeks. 
Certain patients can be cured with just eight weeks of Harvoni. With Harvoni, there's no interferon, and there are no complex regimens. Tell your doctor if you have other liver or kidney problems, HIV, or other medical conditions, and about all the medicines you take, including herbal supplements. Taking amiodarone with Harvoni may cause a serious slowing of your heart rate. Common side effects of Harvoni may include tiredness, headache, and weakness. I am ready to put Hep C behind me. I am ready to be cured. Are you ready? Ask your Hep C specialist if Harvoni is right for you. WKYT's First Alert Weather follows you wherever you go. On TV, online, on your phone, and throughout the day on 100.1 WKQQ. Stay connected to the news that matters to you. WKYT. Looking on another couple good days. Uh, yeah, it certainly looks like if this was a near perfect weekend and we'll continue that trend tomorrow. It's time for the emoji cast. <laughs> Happy starting at 8 o'clock in the morning. A little cool, right, Kristen? 54 degrees. Is that jacket weather for you? Uh, that's a light jacket. Okay. That's a sweater. Okay. <laughs> sweater. Now into the middle of the day. Well, Kristen, you won't need that sweater tomorrow. How about that emoji? He's super happy. 75 degrees, but can we get any happier? Well, that's the happiest emoji that I have for you. <laughs> 5 o'clock tomorrow, 81 degrees. Again, temperatures primed to be nearly 10 degrees above normal, potentially even 15 degrees above normal in some spots. I mean, Lee Kay, it was just a beautiful weekend to pretty much do anything. Oh, yeah. I'd be out there at Keeneland. You went out to Keeneland today. Yeah, it was I was awesome. jealous. I was here. If we ever had a day that we could have a newscast outdoors, this would have been it. Yeah. And we, were in, we were stuck inside. This certainly would have been it. I mean, sunny and then more sunny tomorrow. I mean, we'll be as happy as those emojis tomorrow. Enjoy your Monday, and thanks for joining us right here. Good night.